this. Everybody's rooting for you. Hey, Clark, it's Vicky. Vicky, who? So, Clark, you know I'm on America's Got Talent this year? Good for you. You tell me when. You want to be on the show with me, Clark? No, not really. Oh, boy. Goodbye. Dave, do you promise to love, honor, and vote for Vicky on America's Got Talent for the rest of your life? I do. And Brenda, do you promise to love, honor, and laugh at all of my jokes for the rest of your life? I do. Maybe you'd be interested in my $29 half-hour honeymoon. Listen, I know I look all smart and stuff, but that's just the dress talking. <laughs> you don't have to be a rocket Scientologist to know a little bit about men, though, right, ladies? No, no, no. Like, you don't want to leave a voicemail on your husband's phone, huh? Because they're not going to listen, right? Number one, they know who it is, right? <laughs> and number two, they don't listen when we're yelling in their face, right? <laughs> They're not gonna press a button to hear us, right? <laughs> now I know a little bit about husbands because I've had a bunch. <laughs> yeah, I have been married so many times that Elaine's wedding cakes gave me a punch card. <laughs> and the cake after next is gonna be free, yeah? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm good. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. I got so many of those single monogram towels, I can spell out messages in my bathroom. Leave the seat down, please. <laughs> but it's my own fault. It's my own fault. I always marry for money. You know what I'm talking about, Heidi, right? <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I can't help it. I can just smell it. I can just smell assistant shift manager. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring me those keys, baby. Oh, yeah. My last husband, smoking hot, smoking, Walmart greeter. He was, he was. He had me at hello. <laughs> last time I got married, you know, to my favorite and current husband, Lou, so far. Anyway, last time I got, all my girlfriends were like, slow it down, Vicky, get to know this guy a little bit, huh? Like a long engagement, that works for a lot of you girls. It just will never work for me because I can only hold my stomach in for like two weeks, okay? <laughs> I gotta close that deal fast. <laughs> Where do you wanna go on the honeymoon, honey? The buffet, baby. <laughs> Simon, yes. you ever been with a trailer park girl before? Yeah. Oh yeah, you <laughs> have, baby. <laughs> and you remember it, because it's different. It's trailer nasty. <laughs> First thing that happens, you come over, I get it all dark, I turn off the light so I look just like Heidi Klum. Yeah. <laughs> Trailer nasty. You come over, I throw you down on the couch, there's an old pepperoni pizza. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to kiss that pepperoni right off your face. <laughs> Trailer nasty. Right? You take a girl like Mel B out to dinner, I mean, she's glorious. She's glorious. <laughs> but it's gonna cost you like $250, $300, and she's gonna eat, what, two bites? <laughs> what a waste, forget that. Me and you, we go down to 7-Eleven. <laughs> Whatever's rolling around on that wheel, baby. <laughs> Trailer nasty. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Nasty, nasty, nasty girl. Oh, no. Oh, to you, Howie. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I think you just so came beautiful. up. I think you just came up with your own sitcom, Trailer Nasty. Trailer I mean, Nasty. nasty. And, I'd, and I'd like a certain and, trailer park manager named right. Howie Mandel. <laughs> and also, I got to tell you, there is room right now for a woman like you in a sitcom. Right There's on. an opening. There's an opening. <laughs> You're wonderful. I love you. Simon. I'm going to have some very weird dreams tonight. 